So we speak, we move, we mark, and we reward. Can I touch your ear? Yes. And come back. Same hand that you touch with is the same hand you're gonna feed with. So I always tell people, take this hand, hold on to the chair or something, because you're only gonna use one hand when doing name game. And it's a game that he, you're asking him to play, right? So if he gets up and walks away or whatever, maybe he'll come back to you, but if he doesn't have to come back, right? This is a game where he, you want him to cooperate with you, but it comes down to it where he's like, all right, I've had enough of you touching me and I'm just gonna walk away now. That's fine, game's over, no more treats, whatever, but you had the opportunity to sit there and go through the whole thing. This is where, you know, go, going and doing cooperative grooming while he's sitting here. Can I brush your head? You brush, you brush, you brush, yes. Come back and reward again, right? So, can I brush your neck? Say I had a brush. Yes, brush, 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 yes. Come back, right? So you get him to cooperate to do things. Same thing with nail dremeling and everything. You want it to be cooperative. You don't want it to be forceful and you don't want it to make it where it's uncomfortable for him. You want to make it a good experience. So doing like the nails. Can I dremel your nail? You've got five nails. Here we go, we're gonna do the first one. One, two, three, yes, with the Dremel still on, and you're gonna reward him. Sorry, I just didn't warn you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, so then you can go to the next nail. Okay, here's the next one. One, two, three, yes, on object, hand and the Dremel on, come back, Dremel still on, and reward, right? Because he'll let you do all of his nails if you do it the cooperative way. Right, so for every nail, you're gonna reward after every nail. And it's gonna take you about 10 minutes to get through all of his nails, but he will lay there and allow you to do it only if you have cooperation and you're truthful, right? So you can't be like, I'm gonna do this now, and you're done, and you go, yes, and you go right to the next nail, and there's no reward in between. Guess what you just did? Now you've lied, so now he can't trust you. So anything you say, make sure you follow through, because then that's good communication and it's clear communication. Dogs expect clear communication. That's the best way to be a dog trainer and to be a dog owner is that if you're clear to them, they have good trust in you and you get the best results out of them.